Stu Jones here with continuing coverage of the Project 1080 38-foot cigarette resto mod sponsored by Mercury Racing. Uh, in a previous episode, we showed you guys how we gutted the boat completely. We took all of the interior out. Now we're getting ready to strip the boat completely, and we're going to give it some fresh paint by Dark Force Marine in Pompano Beach. This episode is dedicated to the complete refit and resto mod of the boat. And of course, upon the completion of the paint and graphics, we're gonna be installing those Mercury Racing 540 stern drives. And that's where we got the name Project 1080. Okay, the guys are ready, so let's get started. Uh, here at Dark Force Marine Pompano Beach, uh, and you know, I, got a, I found a couple of guys who really know how to paint and prep boats. And I've known these guys for a long, long time, way back to the Everglades Marina days when the Florida Powerboat Club was at Everglades back on 17th Street. Jason was doing all the gel coat and fiberglass repairs to the boats there. Now, Tony San Marco, he's been with Pat Sullivan for I don't know how many years, probably 15 years, and repairing all the fiberglass, rebuilding boats, painting boats, doing all kinds of custom work. So these guys are the best in the business, and I thought, well, what the heck, I can get them to paint the 38 cigarettes. So guys, I think, you know, this is exciting for me. Um, you know, Tony, uh, tell me uh, what, you know, what your thoughts are with this project. I know it's a big project. Um, we gotta take the old graphics off the boat, strip the boat down a bare gel coat, and then from there we'll, we'll paint it all up with the, with the new design and graphics. Um, a lot of work stripping a boat like this. It's a lot of work. Yesterday I spent the whole day getting the rub rail, a lot of the hardware off cockpit out of the boat because we're going to change the, the dash pods a little bit and make them a little new style. Jason spent the whole day on the other side uh, sanding all the, the graphics off and we're getting ready to start on this side here. We used an 8 inch, it's a snap-on hog DA. Yep. It has a real aggressive pattern so after we go with 80 and 150 I used a 6 inch and 220 to soften those scratches. So all of this uh, fuchsia, orange, purple, all of these uh, wild colors are about to be stripped away. So uh, Tony just convinced me to come up here in the cockpit and we're going to take a look at the work that he's going to do on the dash pods, but what he forgot to remind me was that the entire cockpit has been removed, everything is gone. I haven't seen the boat for the last week or so and it's just almost tearful. Check this out. This is, Tony, I don't know man, this is, this is brutal. I mean, I, I'm coming in here and I'm looking at a boat that we're going to do and make it basically new, but I'm looking in there and I'm going, Oh my goodness. The whole pod has come out, so the whole dash pod's come out on both sides. We're gonna build new ones, and uh, obviously all the side panels, interior panels have come out. We decided we gotta create a new dash panel, and you're gonna build it. Yes, the both pods got removed yesterday, and we're gonna take and change some of these angles here where the old pod used to come down with gauges, and then you had a flat here. We're gonna take that flat and make it one continuous piece. That mm -hmm. way we can fit a, little, a bigger GPS and the vessel view and the, the new style accessories into the dash and it also gives us more room and depth for all the stuff underneath it. Mike from Fine Line Interiors came, at, came over the other day and pulled out all the old upholstery. Um, we basically have a fully intact rear seat, the combing panels, um, the front seats in the boat. Pretty much the whole upholstery for the cockpit is not in bad shape so that could be um, Sold in offshore only or some. Yeah, sold to somebody else that's not looking to buy brand new but wants to upgrade. Maybe some guy stuff. with an older Top Gun that he wants to spend 10 or 15 grand total on the boat. Maybe maybe not even paint it, but he just wants a new interior. Exactly. Yeah. And then um, Mike's going to be building a new style seat yeah. and um, upgrading the upholstery since we're upgrading the rest of the boat. As far as the engine room goes, we're going to take and we're going to fill a lot of the old rigging holes and uh, screw holes that we're holding all the, the wiring and stuff in. The configuration is going to be a little bit different with the newer style um, power that's going into it. So that'll all get stripped, all the gel coat will get sanded that's in it, and then it'll be painted probably in like a light gray all grip, that way it matches the graphics on the side of the boat. And with it being light gray, you don't want to get the engine room too dark because then it's you don't see oil leaking, you don't see tools that are dropped and stuff like that. So with it being in a lighter gray, it just makes it a, a nice bright hole to look into rather than a, a black hole. So now Tony and I are inside the shop and we're going to be looking at some of the designs uh, that we got from No Coast Design. Thomas uh, did a nice job, gave me a lot of designs with the colors I chose and gave me a lot of variations. It was really kind of hard to pick where to go. So I really had to talk to Tony uh, and, and Tony, we had to come up with the best solution for paint. So with being able to do the sponsorships and putting decals on, we want bigger, bigger, flatter spaces, not so busy with a bunch of fades. and. Um, 
the stickers should be able to go on and off without having to worry about the paint peeling off and the clear peeling off behind it. Number one was this one here, okay. which is is good because this gives you a lot of a lot of flat space toward the bow of the boat and on, on the hull sides as far as sponsorship and logos and lettering and stuff like that. Um, we're going to actually take that and take a couple of red lines out of it. Okay, let's talk about the next design, design two, that has a lot of more open space. We, we like this one because it's got a lot more open space. It's the same general look, but not as busy, something like that. It's not as busy, but the problem is I feel it's a little bit dated as far as, as, as the graphics. It's a lot simpler of a design, mm -hmm. but I like the other, other design more just because it's, it's a little more busy and a little bit more new style. Yeah. Pretty much uh, got it figured out here, Tony. We're going to get started, and uh, thanks for your time today on the Project 1080, uh, sponsored by Mercury Racing, 38-foot uh, cigarette, and uh, let's let's have at it. Yep, let's get started. What I can say about this experience was that this isn't just a paint job. It's never just a paint job. When you're doing a resto mod, you are essentially taking this boat down to bare fiberglass, and there's a lot of moving parts. And the guys now really gave me an appreciation of how much work was involved. What was really exciting, though, were some of the things like posting the cigarette logo as they painted by hand the cigarette logo layer by layer in fact i posted it on my instagram account and had close to seventy-five thousand views just watching how a cigarette logo was made so a lot of great followers have come in to monitor this project both on instagram facebook and on youtube thanks guys for following us and we've got plenty more to come
Project 1080 was in paint for about eight weeks altogether, and as we finished the project, we were headed off to the Emerald Coast Poker Run where the Project 1080 cigarette made its first debut, and what a great way to do this at the parade at the Emerald Coast Power Boat Week uh, right here in Harbor Walk Village. We had the FPC girls on the front of the boat uh, going through the parade, and a lot of great feedback from everybody who saw the Project 1080 for the very first time. Of course, uh, she appeared to be a completed boat, but the motors were not in the engine room. We had one of those brand new Mercury Racing 540s uh, on display in the bed of our F-250 uh, pickup truck. And everyone really got a chance to take a closer look at that impressive Mercury Racing 540 stern drive, which would be equipped with the Mercury Racing Bravo XR ITS setup. In our next two episodes of this Project 1080 continuing coverage, we're going to first drop by our friends at Technographic in Fort Lauderdale, and we're going to show you how we completely redeveloped the entire helm, both on the driver's side and on the passenger side, which would later equip the Lavorsi gauges, all of the Mercury Racing instrumentation, and those Garmin 7612 GPS chart plotters on both sides. So this is an exciting part of the project. I was involved in it all the way, and of course, Soon after that, we're going to be rigging Project 1080 with those new Mercury Racing 540s. So lots more to come here as we have continuing coverage of this exciting Resto Mod project of a 38-foot cigarette Top Gun sponsored by Mercury Racing. And you can follow the Project 1080 at our Facebook page, FL Powerboat, our Instagram pages, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Florida Powerboat Club.